Hey everybody, it's me Liv. Um, I came across this really cool challenge on YouTube and I thought I'd go ahead and participate. First time doing it. Um, so it is from a YouTuber by the name of uh, Sybil and over she on her channel, she does this thing called Help a Girl Out and there'll be a particular theme and you need to follow in and create a video for it. So in this particular one, the theme is how do you organize your Christmas and fall theme um, craft items? So I wanted to take the time to show you just a little bit of how I do things. Um, it's not the most organized because I will not pretend to be the most organized person out there. But it's a system that works for me and maybe would encourage someone to consider something that works for them. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how I organize my stamps. Some people do organize their stamps by theme. I organize my stamps by company. That's just what I prefer. So this is my Stampin' Bella um, box. I usually use shoe boxes or any type of plastic containers I can find. Um, and what I do is I put all the holiday kind of theme images up front. Um, so you'll see all the Christmas ones, the witch ones, um, you know, anything that has like a gift that you can use for either birthday or the holidays and I keep all of those kind of up front and then I kind of go through to birthday and then after that it's miscellaneous themes um, of that stamp company because I tend to use a lot and create a lot of birthday cards I do have a lot of images that are in that direction so that is how I prefer I just like companies better so I probably have right now maybe about seven or eight bins um, of different stamp companies that I keep. And I have a rolling cart that I keep them all on. So whenever I need something, I just roll my cart over and bring my box out and pull out whatever stamp I want to use. In regards to my big papers and my embellishments, I use a simple non-glorious system of a scrapbook case. Uh, I've gotten these cases usually at Macy Moore, Michaels, whenever they're on sale, um, and I use this. So in these bins, what I'll do is I'll keep any projects that I'm working on, any small embellishments. Um, sometimes I have pre-made pockets, stickers, um, you know, die cuts that I've done or that I've gotten in various other swaps that I've participated in, any type of embellishments. If I've done any um, pre-cut tags or um, die cuts, decorated any wood pieces or anything like that, I keep them all in a little plastic bin here. If there's a particular project I want to work on, like this is um, wants to be a Christmas theme, cookie recipe I want to put on here, um, a project that will come someday soon. Um, any cards that I have for the season, I keep in there as well. Um, and then scrap paper, um, any other types of projects. I'm working on a stuffed envelope one. Um, someday I'll get that finished. And then here is the papers. So I have the fall theme papers. To me, outdoorsy, campy kind of stuff. This reminds me of fall, so I keep that in my fall bin. Any chipboard um, that I will maybe use different mixed media type of products on, I keep in here. My thicker 12 by 12 pads, as well as my single sheets, they all kind of keep together. So just want to give you, oh, and I have some other different types of uh, stickers and chipboard pieces. And I keep them all in this. I don't have a huge stash of that because I keep my 12 by 12 papers separate from my 6 by 6 pads. As for my 6 by 6 pads, I keep all of them in a bin just like this. I am primarily a card maker. Uh, so for me, 6 by 6 is what I love and what I use most of the time. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll keep any of the ones that I feel are seasonal on one side. So it'll be mixed in with, you know, Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's. I keep them all summer themed, more autumn, and I keep them all on one side here. Then I keep any of the other type of themed ones that are either generic in style, maybe it's just colors or 
um, you know, things such as that. And I keep them all on this particular side. Then my six by six, this almost never comes off my desk. Um, I keep it on my desk. Uh, so I can easily grab whatever pad I want to use and get to working on whatever card that I'm crafting at that time. Now the final thing I have, which unfortunately is not very organized at all, so I don't know if it'll bring anyone any type of inspiration, but just putting it out there because we are supposed to put how we do things. I keep all my dies in a bin like this. Um, I am not, I don't have a huge collection of dies. I really use them for cutting out for borders and, and things such as that. It's primarily what most of these dies are. Um, you know, so I don't keep it by any particular company order for this since I don't have a huge collection. Maybe someday if I ended up getting more and more into dies, um, I make do the same and replicate like I do my stamps of dies per company. But for right now, they all fit nice, nicely in here. I keep them all here and then I just pull them out when I need to use them. So this is not particularly organized by seasons or anything like that because I don't really have seasonal dies. As you can kind of see here in my frame, I have my Cricut, I have my Silhouette, and I really use those machines to create a lot of my dies um, for most of my projects. So you know, the metal dies to me are really um, not as pivotal, so I don't actually even really buy them in seasonal type of themes. So that's pretty much how I keep my different seasons together. Um, I don't have Halloween in here because I'm a huge Halloween lover and I have a whole bin of Halloween. Um, and I didn't really want to pull that out because it's a little overwhelming. Um, so, but same principle. I would keep all my 12 by 12 embellishments and such in a container such as this. And then my other pink containers would hold my six by six pads. So I hope you guys got a chance to enjoy this video. Maybe there were some tricks that you can think of for you particularly on how you may want to organize some things. And I can't wait to watch you your videos as well to see if maybe someone can help me um, be Miss Super Cool and Organized uh, someday in my future. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.